What is up guys? My name is Ethan. I'm back here at Worldwide RV and today we're doing a little comparison video. What happens when you go from the Seneca up to the Seneca XT? And to preface this, they are two different floor plans. We have a 37M over here and a 35L. They're very similar, but I just mainly want to talk about the upgrades with the XT and what kind of off-road capabilities you're going to get with that. Starting off with the Seneca 37M, this is based on a Freightliner S2 RV chassis, while the 35L Seneca XT is based on the all-new Ford F600 chassis. Next up, we're talking about engines and drivetrains. Underneath the reverse clamshell of the Freightliner chassis, you're getting a Cummins 6.7 liter power diesel that makes 360 horsepower and 800 foot-pounds of torque. Underneath the hood of that F600, you're getting a 6.7 power stroke that makes 330 horsepower and 825 torque. Next up, we're talking about the wheels and tires. On all of Jayco's products, you're going to get American-made tires, but take a look at the size difference between these two. Here, you're going to get a 275 on a 22 and a half inch all-steel rim. These things are straight off of a semi-truck. Moving on to the Seneca XT, you're going to get smaller 19 and a half inch alloy wheels, but on these very off-road capable Firestone all-terrain tires. Moving along from there, underneath the suspension, you actually get a two inch BDS lift, along with a ton of front suspension work to keep this thing driving nice and true down the road. Before I show you guys the inside and compare the two Senecas, I wanted to take a look at the roof. As you can see, you're gonna get dual ACs on both. You're gonna get WineGuard's 2.0 connectivity system, which is gonna give you Wi-Fi and 4G options. And you're gonna get a single solar panel on both. That's gonna be 200 watts on the XT and 190 watts on the standard Seneca. But take a look here. This is Starlink's all new high performance flat mount kit. That's gonna give you the option to not only have Wi-Fi while you're standing still, but also roaming Wi-Fi capabilities. So no matter where you are, whether you're driving or not, you can have Wi-Fi at all times of day. Inside the cockpit of the Seneca XT, you're going to get this awesome rustic brown leather interior, along with all the interior amenities that you've come to know and love from Ford's top level Super Duty trucks. Onto the interior, this is the Seneca XT. Right here, you're going to have dual theater seating. These are automatically controlled and you actually have USB plugs on both sides. Moving along over here, this is dinette. It does convert into a bed, but the special thing about these new 2024 Jayco dinettes is they're actually legless. So no more clipping your leg on the little post inside of there while you're trying to eat dinner. And then take a look at this TV over here. It's actually on an electronic televator, so you can hide it at any time of day and just get a view out that back window. Taking a step into the kitchen, you're gonna have a massive countertop, a little pop top power tower here, and take a look at this residential style microwave. That thing is sweet. Here we have a Furion two stovetop burner. And take a look at this sink. It's actually on a rubber hose along with the gray chrome accents. So you can move it everywhere and look good while you're doing it. Moving along from there, we have this chrome finished Samsung refrigerator with a very deep freezer and actually has two levels in it. So you could store all your frozen items. And then inside of this fridge, it is double door and has the twin cooling plus capabilities. So you're really going to be able to keep things cold and get it cold very fast. Taking a step towards the bedroom, you're first going to see your touchscreen control panel. And not only that, you can actually hook this up to your phone. So you can control the whole RV at the touch of an app. Right here, you're going to have your rectangular stand-in shower, which is plenty large and has a sweet backsplash in there. And right here is the entryway to your bathroom where you're going to have your levee. And I know you're going to be spending a lot of time in there, those 15 minute sits on your phone, if you know what I mean. Once you're in the bedroom, the first thing that you're gonna notice is this king size bed, and it's actually on a motorized control, so you can have it completely flat to sleep, or upright like this, so you could watch TV. And then take a look right here, you're actually gonna get dual Jayco Blue reading lights, along with a wireless charger on either side of the bed. You have a Furion electric fireplace right here that does emit heat, works very well. And then an Insignia Smart TV up here, along with plenty of storage. Onto the interior of the Freightliner chassis, this feels a lot more like a semi-truck, whereas on the F600 chassis, it feels like a standard Super Duty or any other F250 that you would be in. Into the interior of the 37M Seneca, you're gonna have a slightly different layout 
where you have dual theater seating right here, same with the plug, same with the electronic adjusting. Storage up above there, along with accent lighting going all throughout, which you'll see plenty of in this interior. Right here, you're going to have that signature legless dinette from Jayco, along with another couch that does convert into a small bed. And then a TV on an electronic elevator as well right there. Come on back with me into the kitchen area. You're going to get slightly different coloring than that 35L, but all the same standard features. Besides on here, you're going to have a hard chrome sink, which does not have the rubber adjustability, but it does have dual covers so you can cover up the sink for more table space. You're going to have that same induction stovetop, a very similar but not as large Furion microwave. And then right here, you're going to get plenty of storage along with an added fireplace down there from Furion. One difference from the 35L to the 37M, in here you're going to get a Whirlpool refrigerator compared to the Samsung in that 35L. This is a bifold style where you have freezer on the left and refrigerator on the right. In the 37M you're going to get the same touchscreen and connectivity system to control the whole RV. And then right across from your refrigerator is an absolutely huge bathroom. This is much larger than the one in the 35L. And you get things like these fancy standard lights up here along with a large rectangular shower with a different black splash. Just options when you're shopping for Senecas here. And into the bedroom of the 37M, we actually have the bed laid down so you could see it in both positions. And the main difference in this bedroom is gonna be rather than having your fireplace inside in the bedroom, you have it out in the living area, but you're gonna have the same insignia TV and take a look at just how huge this closet is. And that concludes this one, folks. Thanks for tagging along. If you're in the market for either one of these Senecas, any motorhome or a travel trailer, come on down to Worldwide RV today. Located at 4660 East Main Street, right between Higley and Greenfield. Or simply give us a call. That's 480-832-5600. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.